My dog bear had to be put down today. <coughs> that... I literally just got back from the vet not too long ago from putting him down. For the past week, he's been acting like he was dying. He's been for months now declining, but for the past week, we literally didn't think every single night we thought he was going to go every single day. And then we get to the vet and he puts on a damn performance because that dog is so damn friendly. And of course, he loves people, he loves the vet, he loves to meet people. So he puts on a damn performance. And for so long, eventually she was able to see what we were talking about. I'll explain in a minute. But for so long, it's like, man, will you please show the doctor what we're talking about? We're pretty sure you're dying and you're acting like you're fine, like a puppy right now. Because you're so damn excited, your spirit's so damn strong. Because you're seeing people. But we know this can't last, and it didn't. The damn dog's spirit was so strong. He didn't want to go. But at the same time, he was incredibly suffering. From so many different reasons. One, his hind leg was going. His, he had trouble with his eyes. Not just being able to see, but like one was sunken and irritating him. And then there was coughing and gagging, which was, which sounded like it was more than allergies than it was. And there was like two, I don't remember if it was last year or what year it was, but he had some tumors that we had taken off of him around his privates. And, but then lately there's been like little ones that he would like bite off of his legs. So they, they saw an x-ray because he was putting on such a damn performance. I'm like, they're never going to put him down, which is. We know he has to be put down. We knew that at that point. But it was like they're never going to if he keeps putting on this performance. Because his, his spirit was so strong. He was so friendly. So it was like, yeah, do an x-ray, blood work. They never even got to the blood work. They did one fucking picture. And I think she said on the way to there, he, he finally couldn't keep up that performance anymore. And he started having a lot of trouble breathing like he'd been having for the past week. He finally couldn't keep up that damn performance anymore and she finally saw what the hell we were talking about and all it took was one fucking shot to be like nope i'm not gonna waste your money anymore that one shot was enough i don't we don't know if it was like water or blood because you can't actually tell but there was a whole bunch of fluid on that x-ray and there's a whole bunch of organs like she showed us and that you can't see she's like throughout all this fluid you're supposed to be able to see these organs and you couldn't see a damn thing and his heart was enlarged and pressing against, I think she said, his trachea. It's a wonder he made it this long, and it's a wonder he was breathing at all. That damn dog really did not want to go. He loves us too damn much. We finally had to make the decision to put him down. Because if we didn't, he was going to go kicking and screaming. If he would heard the way he's been breathing... Every morning I kept thinking I was going to wake up and he would be gone, and he wouldn't be. He was just going to suffer as long as it fucking took. He's finally out of his misery. It's the first time I've ever had to put a pet down like that, because I keep losing them young to accidents. I had a house fire in 2012, and so it's the first time I've actually put one down. He's finally gone. He's finally at peace. He, can't, he doesn't have to suffer anymore. For 13 years, he was a very good boy. He was full of love and loyal and so excitable. So damn excitable. His spirit's so strong. For quite a while, since they were backed up and it took them a bit to get to us, for quite a while he was putting on a damn performance, a damn show. But he was... But he should have been gone already. He was suffering so much. I have a video that's going out tomorrow. I made that video yesterday. If you wonder why the hell I'm not a mess, even though I did already. No, we probably wouldn't be coming home with him. He's going to be cremated. I have some other ashes of a kitten as well as my husband. So I already have some ashes and he'll be put with them and when we, when we get them.
the video tomorrow is about some changes to the channel, sort of. You'll see it tomorrow. But yeah, I made that yesterday. I'll be okay, but yeah.